Hi guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be taking it back to what I would like to call old school Holly videos where I actually just sit and talk in front of a camera. Just a disclaimer, I know my background isn't really ideal. Uh, it's something that I'm working on. I actually have a piano behind me but I have a blanket covering it so that's why there's not this amazing kind of background at the minute but it is something that I am working on. So during my YouTube hiatus which lasted about three years I noticed my Animal Crossing New Leaf life hacks video kind of was still getting a lot of attention, it was still getting lots of comments and there were lots of questions being asked so today I thought I would do Animal Crossing New Horizons life hacks. They're in no particular order and I do feel like they apply to beginners and also people that are a little bit more experienced with the game. So let me know if this video helps you in any way. But in no particular order, here we go. Okay, so life hack number one is carry a workbench with you at all times, especially if you're building. And the reason I actually say this is because if you always use your workbench in your house, but your house is at the opposite side of the map to where you're building, the amount of time that you will spend just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, it's just worth having one on you. And I would actually recommend the simple DIY bench because that takes up the least amount of space, I believe. But I would definitely recommend doing that. It just saves you loads of time. It's nice just having it on you anyway. Okay, tip number two is before you actually start to terraform, use an island planner. So there is one that was made recently, which is just like a terraformer island planner. It is by Boba Cupcake. I will put the link in the description for you. It's still an early build, so it's probably going to be improved and things are going to be added to it further. But one thing I actually kind of struggled with when terraforming is my kind of spatial awareness. So I was like, I had this idea in my head and I wanted to execute it, but because of just the way the game works, I couldn't fully execute it. So I feel like if I had used this island planner, I definitely would have been in a better position and I wouldn't have spent 400 hours building stuff that just didn't work. Okay, life hack number three is place a TV anywhere on your island, outside, in your house. I think probably most of us have one at least. Even if you can't buy the expensive one, even the Apple TV would work. And I didn't realize this, but it actually has a full TV guide. I will insert a picture here. If you have the strategy guide, it's actually in there. So keep an eye on your TV at regular intervals throughout the day because what they have done is they've actually added in a weather forecast and various points throughout the day, you can actually watch the weather forecast and it will tell you what the weather is gonna be like on your island. And I don't know about you, but I really hate when it rains. I feel like I can't get anything done. And the squelchy noise in my shoes just drives me nuts. So <laughs> if you want to avoid a certain type of weather, then just do that. Life hack number four is check your recycle bin every single day. I literally cannot stress this enough because you will find cardboard boxes, you will find gifts that you gave to your villagers and you'll feel bitter about it. But also what you will find in there is things like a piano, rusted communicator parts, items that actually are worth a lot. I found an ironwood kitchenette in mine. I was like, right, okay. But no one's gonna throw that out though. And I found a ring in there, the one that goes for about 70 grand. It, honestly, check it every single day. If anything, if, you, if there's not really much in there, just take the items and sell them or just redistribute them as gifts. <laughs> but you just might find something in there that you want or your friend wants, or your mum wants, or your dog wants, or a villager wants, and then you've got it for free. Life hack number five, and it's just kind of off the back of what I just said, is when Gulliver comes to visit, he will ask you to get five communicator parts. Now, if you get these communicator parts and then leave them in your pockets or storage, they actually turn rusted, and this is what you use to make the big robot hero, the transformer looking guy. So if you're not too bothered about stuff with Gulliver, it is worth still just taking the time to do his little task because those rusted communicator parts 
you can either use to make your own transformer or you can usually sell them. Life hack number six and one that I have done so much is trade furniture and catalog furniture with your friends and family. What I mean by cataloging is whenever you pick up an item of furniture that will automatically register in your catalog for you to be able to order later on. So this accounts for the colour of the furniture, the type of furniture, it also works with clothing as well. It doesn't work for like DIY recipes but you know, we can't be too fussy. Host cataloging events, so what you do, take a bunch of furniture, drop it, allow your friends to come over and pick them up and then it's catalogued for them and then they can also do the same with you and slowly but surely you can actually build up a really really good list of furniture that you can then use on your island, in your house, that maybe you wouldn't have seen in your shop for a while. Life hack number seven is actually one that I have also done and I'm gonna be sticking with, and that is to save a bit of money, do not pay off your final house payment. So the way it works, and the way I believe it has always worked, is you get the upgrade for your house and then you pay for it. So you're kind of always one step ahead. So the last upgrade is about two and a half million bells, but you've already got the basement. You don't need to do any more than that. The only thing it does when you actually fully upgrade and pay the last loan amount of two and a half million is you can then customize your house for free forever. However, customizing your house is not expensive. It's 5,000, you can do whatever you want. So, I mean, I can't do the maths, but 5,000 goes into two and a half million quite a few times you would have to customize your house hundreds of times before it actually became worth it. And I think the only other benefit to paying off your final loan is actually you'll then get the stamp and you'll get the nook miles, but you get nook miles by doing lots of things anyway. So it's not, if you're like a completionist and you've got the spare money, then do it. But if you're not too bothered and you'd rather save some money and not have to worry about it, then I would literally just stick with that. Life hack number eight is whenever you go to an island, if you're island hopping, villager hunting, always, always, always comb the beach for a DIY. I cannot stress this enough. There are little message, bottled messages scattered across islands. It's not every single island, but I'd say it's at least one in three because I did island hopping the other night and I, I got so many recipes that I didn't have before. When we island hop, I know for me personally, I waste all those resources that are just sitting there because I just want to be in and out. But if you just spend the extra time, just look around the beach. If you don't like the village, you don't have to look at them. Just spend some time, walk around the beach, see if there's a message in a bottle, and maybe shake a few trees just to see if there is an item of furniture there. And life hack number nine, because I can't think of a tenth one, is if you haven't unlocked terraforming yet, please do not stress over your layout. Trust me, it's really, really not worth it. I spent hours, and I mean hours, stressing over my layout for me to then get terraforming and change all of it. And I thought I had a good layout, and I didn't. It was rubbish, and then I got terraforming, and I'm still working on my island now, literally 200 hours later. I know, it's, very, it's been a very, very slow process for me, uh, but I just want everything to look right. So please don't worry about it. I know it's really tempting to kind of start working on your layout straight away. What I'd probably say is, is use some of the island planners that I've mentioned just to kind of map out where you want things to go, because you can actually save time and money by putting houses and buildings where you want them to go permanently but just be aware that once you unlock terraforming you will get the option of adding different tiers you can add water and although you might have your houses here you might actually want them to be up here so it's always just worth just taking a step back before you go mad with your layout stuff so that was my Animal Crossing New Horizons life hacks video. I hope you at least took something away from this and I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I miss kind of talking to you guys one to one, but if you liked the video, obviously give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have anything to add and I will see you in my next video. Bye.